Hello everyone, this is Miss Dale. Um, I wanted to go over some instructions on how to complete your puzzles that we've sent home for you to work on. And one of the things that you can think about is these are like Sudoku puzzles, but instead of with numbers, we're using pictures. And also you can think of it as a type of computer coding that we'll be building on as you go through the years at Blythe Bauer. We'll be talking about a lot of computer coding through the years. And this is kind of the beginning step of that. So I wanted to show you how to complete your puzzles. On this slide, so one of the things I want to talk to you about is, let me go back, that how to play this is that Sudoku or like this computer coding puzzle is a fun way to grow your brain and the goal is to make sure that each row the column or the grid have only one of each of the four pictures. Okay, so these are pictures are different than yours, but I just wanted to use this one as an example. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so when we look at this puzzle, this is a row. If we go across or horizontal, as you guys have learned that big word, if we go across, that's a row. If we go up and down, and I bet you can remember that word too, that's vertical, okay? So this way can only have one of each of these pictures. This way, so horizontal only one, vertical only one, and then this is considered a grid, so the four. And you can see it's outlined with a darker line around it. So this is considered the grid. So if I look here, I have a snowflake, a mitten, and a skate. So what else am I missing here? Okay, that's right. It would be the mug of hot chocolate. Now, if I look, I only have one of each going horizontal. I only have one of each going vertical. Now let's check my grid. Do I only have one of each there? Yes, I do. So that is awesome. Okay, so let's go here. Let's look at this one. So I have the snowflake, the mitten, and the hot chocolate. So what am I missing maybe here? That's right, the skate. So if I drag the skate over, or for you, you'll be gluing it. Then if I look vertical, do I only have one of each? Yes, we did it right there. Here, going horizontal, do I only have one of each? Yes. Now let's look at the grid again, which I think is what we looked at originally anyway. I only have one of each, so that's excellent. Okay, so let's look here. Uh-oh, if I look at this horizontally, I'm missing two pieces. So I have to figure out, I have a snowflake left and a mitten left, so I have to figure out where those go. So I can go horizontal, but that's kind of hard because I have two spots. So let's go vertical and see what happens. So I've got the mitten, the cup of hot chocolate, the skate. So what am I missing vertically? Yes, I'm missing the snowflake. So let's check that in the grid now that we have this grid done. Mitten, skate, snowflake, mug. So I only have one of each there. So I think that might be right. So let's place our last piece and make sure that we have it correct. Let's check horizontal, mug, snowflake, mitten, skate. So I don't have anything that repeats there. I only have one of each. Let's try vertical. Skate, snowflake, cup, and mitten. Yeah, we did that one right too. All right, let's check here and make sure in the grid that we only have one of each. Skate, snowflake, mug, and mitten. Yes, we did that one as well. So now if we look horizontal, if we have any row, if we look vertical for any column, or if we look at any of the grids, the four grids together, we only have one of each. So we completed it correctly. So now that's what you're going to do on your paper. You'll cut out your pieces and then place them accordingly so that you only have one of each in every row, column, or grid. 